Hello, it's been a while since I've done a cooking video, but we got rained out of the fields today. I actually got a workout in, some extra work done for Heart of the Midwest, a shower, and I'm in my comfy clothes all before it's five o'clock in the evening. So this is a rarity and I am so excited to go ahead. I was slacking on my field meals this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one of my favorite like comfort meals, easy meals to just throw together really quickly and use up some vegetables in your fridge that are about to go bad. Um, and I'm actually going to freeze them for some field meals coming up. But today we are making beef bulgogi. What is this? I always say it wrong. Beef bulgogi bowls. So all you will need a pound of ground beef, a little beef bulgogi marinade, basically Korean barbecue sauce. I have a medium yellow onion that I just roughly chopped up a couple of carrots, um, about a cup and a half of broccoli, some green onions, sesame seed, and rice. You can totally use whatever rice. I love these things. They make it so much easier. Um, and somehow I always screw up cooking the rice. So I love these little microwavable things. Uh, they're just like a cup each, and which is perfect. And of course, the most important thing for this, a little bit of wine, which I am very much enjoying after I think we've been in the field. We rained out last night, but it's been like three weeks. So definitely taking advantage of having just like a chill night at home. All right, so I just poured in just a little bit of olive oil into a pan here on the stove. I've got it on medium-ish. And then I'm just going to go ahead and toss those onions in. I don't think it's quite heated up all the way yet. Just kind of separate those as they cook. Um, we're just gonna let those heat up a little bit for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna put the ground beef in. While those start to cook, normally I would salt and pepper everything, but this marinade has such good flavor and it's already plenty salty enough, um, which is really saying something because I'm a person that loves their salt. Um, but I am not going to add anything extra in there because once that beef starts to brown a little bit, I'm going to probably pour what's left of this in there um, and just let that finish cooking in that and just let it simmer for a little bit. So if I'm correct, I've had it in restaurants but I've never actually made it myself. The real beef bulgogi is like very thinly sliced um, pieces of beef marinated in this, um, this sauce, and then, you know, cooked quickly and served with veggies and things like that. However, I'm from the Midwest and what I always have in stock and on hand is ground beef. So I make it like this just because it's easy, it's something I always have. And honestly, I don't get to a grocery store with a very thinly sliced beef available or like when the deli is open. <laughs> Well, I guess it's always late at night. So uh, yeah, ground beef is just the way to go for me. All right, those seem to be softening up a little bit. It's been a couple of minutes. So we're just going to toss that ground beef in. Throw the plate away. So after you throw that in, you're just going to brown it like you usually do all ground beef. I always have a hard time just like letting it sit, but I know that's what you're supposed to do. And while that is cooking, we are just going to take our little steamer. If you don't have one of these from, I got mine, I got mine from Amazon and it's seriously, it's the best. It has like three parts. It's got the part with water, the part that you put the veggies in and then like the steamer lid. So we're just going to pour our broccoli and carrots on there. Normally, like you can just cook them like in this later on. However, I can never get like mine cooked enough like the way I like it. So I usually will just steam them for two, three minutes. So I'll probably just, since this is like pretty much full, I'll go ahead and do three, probably three and a half minutes. 
once that beef is like mostly brown, there's just a little bit of pink left in it, that's when I'm gonna go ahead and pour my beef bulgogi marinade in. Honestly, the first time I've ever seen this was in the like international grocery store in Indianapolis. And then I think I got this actually at Trader Joe's. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I guess I've never looked for it in a regular grocery store. Like I don't think our local IGA is gonna have it, but maybe like a Meyer would. Hoping I have enough, because I I love to like douse, douse it in it. Which is probably not healthy, but I just think it adds to the overall flavor and lets it really soak in um, to the beef, the onions, whatever other veggies you use. So I'm just gonna leave that on medium and kind of let that start to simmer and finish cooking the rest of the beef. And now I'm out. So adding that to the grocery list. All right, so the veggies are like halfway steamed in the microwave. Ooh, it's a little hot. Go ahead and take that off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dump these out right here on the cutting board. And I'm just going to kind of give them a rough chop, mainly to get the carrots just to get it into smaller pieces, kind of like the onions, just a rough dice. Honestly, I feel like I had the perfect amount of bulgogi marinade left because this is roughly what it should look like. You want enough so that once you pour those extra veggies in, those like will, it'll all soak up. Woo! This is why I'm not really German. This is, this is the best. Um, but so it all soaks up evenly and you don't get left with something dry and you still have plenty of moisture left to kind of soak into that rice, you know, just to make it really savory. So, next up, pour those half steamed veggies in to finish cooking. I love making this because you can kind of use whatever veggies you have on hand um, that are about to go bad. A lot of times, I feel like I always have peppers that are about to go bad and that works really, really well in this dish. And then once those are in there, just stir those in and let it cook until everything, like the veggies are cooked through. The meat should be about done by this point. Just kind of let that simmer and tenderize. Just soak up all of that flavor in the bulgogi marinade. Yeah. So this, this is my favorite part where you just get to watch it. Ooh. Again, not re Drummond and have your glass of wine and really enjoy your day off from the field. All right, so once everything is good and cooked, we're just going to go ahead and take that off the heat. Turn your stove off. I always seem to forget to do that. And then I've just gone ahead I love, like I said, I love those little minute rice things. You can just microwave them. So I've just divided them equally between these four things. And then, yeah, all we have to do is scoop them into the containers. It's literally that easy. And it's so good. I feel like this would be like the perfect like weeknight family meal for like the very busy family because all of that, those good drippings are gonna just soak right into the, the rice. Then we're gonna come in with our green onions. I'm just gonna sprinkle a few of those on top. And of course, you can't forget the sesame seeds. And there we have it literally one of my favorite comfort meals my favorite meal to just like make super quickly um it's somewhat healthy and curl up on the couch and watch a good movie so thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you make it seriously it's so good um i love the beef bulgogi marinade i feel like i've had a couple different like uh brands and they're all good they're so like so good and again, it's something that I never would have like even probably realized, like 
found had I not gone into that like, international store that one time. I probably never would have tried it. But in an international store, it seemed like the safest option was a Korean barbecue sauce. So, yes. Let me know. Thank you guys again for watching.